in this lesson we will be discussing about another wonderful concept used in java programming language which is event handling and in the previous module called the graphical user interface we had studied that with the help of awt package we can easily call some events and display our messages and when we are clicking on over something and uh, an action a backend function will be performed and it will give us the required output so this is being brought up with the event handling and in this module we will be defining some of the events we will be playing with some of the events so that we can understand that how it is working and how we can implement this and event happens when something changes within a graphical user interface so something changes means that clicking a button like uh, pointing a device or drag and drop or writing a text field and so on and so forth so we can say that the events are objects in java it comes under some classes stored in java dot util dot event object so all the things we had studied in java are objects and we can say that the events are also called objects and these objects are being entitled into some classes which is called the uh, java util dot, uh, dot event object and these classes will provide the base to extract or to inherit some other function which are being useful so for example event occurs when a user clicks a button clicks on a combo box or types character into a text etc and the following and for a button the event is being different and for a text field the event being different for a button it is action listener and the text field is a key a key event so once i had uh, click the click me uh, button it will give me the another dialog box and had a message that you click me guys so with the help of this when i will go towards okay maybe the functionality i am saying that uh, it will be it should be removed from the screen or the screen will be disappear or another functionality can be it will ask any number to proceed with or so on so on. so the functionality behind any button or any event is our responsibility is the developer responsibility and with the help of classes we just need to uh, create a constructor or a caller in icon inherit some of the base classes and all the, those fundamental layouts will be happened in um, in event handling so this there are very much benefits of that now we are having listener class in java so this class listens the events in the application so when i am going towards him clicking a button it will be listening by her listener and it controls the application without affecting its internal mechanism so internal mechanism will not be changed but overall input will be uh, handled by the listener class the listeners check the continuity the work the dispatching of a class must be able to rely on each of its listener to contain the method that is executed so what does it means that a class where an event is being attached or even using click is 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 compulsorily be attached to a listener so that once the event has been clicked or the event has been performed a listener is always ready for that event to be executed to to uh, to the function in the subsystem to be executed so we can say that that for every event we we should have a listener class and that listener class is being responsible for all those uh, communication between the graphical user interface and the core system so it can be easily done in java by the use of interface class and the important play is that is that a class which is going to a listener must implement that interface they are so we have two interfaces we can say server servlet context listener as an http session listener so these all uh, listener has their own methods where we are being using these methods in the overall code flow so some listener which are action listener have only one method and other interfaces have many methods which are being overridden we will be studying that what is the overridden method but the overall concept is that that we have some election listeners and the, this action listener has only one method where, where it is being dealing with the overall uh, code flow so now we have the event uh, handling in java so abstract window had a toolkit awt uses event driven programming to do processing of user action one that the underlies all the modern windows system programming so we once 
all those modern uh, window system programming techniques such as C sharp and the other things are being associated and with the help of AWT package we can easily implement the user event driven programming and uh, within AWT all user action belong to an abstract class called event and event describe in such sufficient detail a particular user like a particular user has been clicking something or he is he has been uh, adding some information to to a perform form and so on so rather than the program actively collecting user generated events so the user generated events are also being uh, collected and this is how the overall event handling is being occurred in the situation so then we have in the event handling we have four type of classes the one is uh, event adapters classes event sources and event listeners so what are the event adapters that uh, in a program when a pr uh, listener has many abstract method to override it is it has become complex for the programmer to override all of them so we have a class uh, or uh, we have a listener and we have many pro uh, many uh, function associated to that so now a programmer has some confusion that which is the right listener to be acted so uh, and this this creates some of the difficulty for the programmer also so the to solve this issue we have a uh, we uh, for example for closing a frame we must override seven abstract method of window listener but we need only one method of them so which one method is being useful so, so it should be uh, the solution should be as easy as possible that the user or the programmer should be able to override that exact function which is being uh, which is which is being so much helpful to him so for reducing complexity java provide a class known as adapters or adapter class and adapter adapters are the abstract classes that are already being overridden so we have been overriding means that we have two classes so we have parent class and a child class so the same function in the parent class we have a same function called drive in the parent class also and in the drive in the child class also but the definition function definition being changed so this these are the overridden function so with the help of the adapters we can the parent class has its own definition and the child class has its own definition but with the help of adapters we can easily change the functionality by using the child class object dot that drive function for example and the overall functionality uh, again the drive function of this uh, scenario uh, of child class will be implemented so with the help of event adapters we can do this then we have e uh, event class and every event source generates an event and is named by the java class so every event source means that it means that it is a button or it is a text field or it is a checkbox generates an any event and it is being, being handled by a java class and an event is generated where something changes within a graphical user interface we had studied the uh, in detail the above item so uh, the event generated button knows the action event uh, and when the button is called a class called action event will be called we can say that and checkbox when the chevy the user is being attempting to have to have a checkbox the item event class will be called and all those events are being listed in this a java dot a t dot event package so then we have event sources this can be button text field or frame etc or panels and we have some of the listeners where we can say that the events are handled by special group of interfaces known as listeners so what does it mean that every event should have a listener so that the effective communication between the uh, graphical user interface and the core system can be happen so with uh, with the help of event listeners we can do this and now let's have a, a short implementation that how to perform event handling in java so implement the listener interface and override its method register the component with the listener so for example we have button and we have a public uh, method called void add uh, action listener a for the uh, list we can have add action listener and then we ha we should have another public method which ca which is called void void add item listener so or uh, item should be listed in that and then we have in the text area we have add text listener. so these are the listener classes and they are being using for the uh, different purposes for the checkbox for the menu item for the list for the 
uh, button and so on and so forth so we can use this event handling in the same class in the another class and we can use this anonymously also so let's go towards this mm, short implementation so we have a uh, uh, we have java add aw dot event dot star then we have i have uh, used a event account act ex1 and then you have extended this from frame and implement action listener so in action listener all those functions will be available then we have a text field i had used the text field set the bound for that if this is the weight this is the height and so on and so forth then we have a new button which will say the click me and now i had used this button the indentation of this button being set and then i had used the add dot action listener that once the button being called so this action listener should be implemented for example and then we have add then we have uh, uh, text field uh, in in this overall panel in this all frame and then we have set the layout and the size and set visible to true and then when the action is being performed it will sh uh, shift it will give me the response to fill come to flip dot ai advanced java course so let's implement this that how we can uh, use this in a really cool manner so shift f6 and here we go so this is the yeah and we can use umair here umair but and click me welcome to the flip dot i advanced java course and now this field is being available in this field should be uh, as long as the text so we need to identify that what is the correct size to be uh, replaced or to be added here so with the help of this with the help of click me function uh, button we can we had displayed a message so this is an event so on clicking a button a message should be uh, available here so this is this is not being crossing enough we will study that why is it not being exiting but now let's go towards the another uh, event action and i had used the event action which is being implemented by the action listener and it is being extending the frame so that the frame methods can be uh, available now we are using the new event action here in the main and this event action is being uh, defined here as that we have set a border layout then we have a button b i am writing b entry or norm in block then i am having b dot add action listener so on this action listener please do something we can say that and then i had use a border layout not uh, north so at this this thing this enter your name in this block should be available at the north side of the panel then we have the write something about yourself then it should be on the south and then if we have a label and it should be available at the center of the position and now i have add window listener this is new window adapter and once i am window closing i have will close that window it will immediately close that here it is not being closing it will close when i or delete or, or i will close the entire apache net bean so then then this process will be terminated but here it is not uh, in this code uh, this will not be the case then now we have the we have an exception uh, we can uh, i did not ha added any any exception here but we can use this i have set the size and with the help of action perform we have even dot get source the button is the get source we had studied the we and now the button is the source so i had used this button btn and then for that btn we will be get the uh, getting the label and will setting the text around this once the event is being called so shift f6 and here let's see this yes yes we have enter your name in the blog it is in uh, north so write about you about is it is so, uh, uh, here is south and here we have the in the uh, center we have c sharp corner dot com so here enter your name enter your name in this block write something about yourself write something about yourself so by default you can say that by default we can easily use this welcome to the c, c sharp corner by default but once the things are being calculated one thing things are being clicked we can easily change the in uh, output according to our needs so this is a quick uh, short implementation and this this is the baseline that how we can create events how we can uh, add buttons and generate event against that button so let's have a this cross
it will be cross because I had used this window closing option here and in this uh, code I did not use this window closing so it is not being using the window closing so this is the overall a bit short introduction about the event handling in Java so I would request you to please go through this implement some of the examples so that you can have a clear understanding about the event handling in Java programming language